All right, I'm going to do a quick garden review here or update. Now it is March 31st, 2022. Started a lot of things over because of white flies and aphids. I harvested what I could and then I'm restarting everything over the last week or two. So um, I'll just give you an update and show you what's going on. So here I got cantaloupe. Um, this company here is new to me. I found it in my local store. It's just NK. I don't know if it's going to come out why it's not showing a lawn and garden um, now the box that it came in like there's you know a display box and there's all the different seeds it said non GMO but nowhere on the package does it say that so I looked up online they were bought by some other company and I couldn't find any info on it really so I have to keep searching on that I, I don't know um, green garden I think is a company that took it over so I'm not sure but they're supposed to be non GMO so that's gonna be in this guy here and it's gonna start and when it gets warmer out um, it will uh, go outside on my balcony, which I'll bring you out there because I got some stuff out there. So I got three different cucumbers this year. Last year I had one. And in this tube, in this tub right here, I'm doing the same thing. When it gets warmer and they get going, I'll bring them outside. So that's what they were last year. And I think I put these ones in this time, Space Saver. And these are like pickling ones. These grew really good over the winter until the white flies attacked the heck out of them. So um, I'll be doing at least two cucumbers indoors and then outdoors I'll do some more um, why I got you here um, these are two different kinds of lettuce I have another one called um, what's this one Tom Thumb and Super Red Romaine uh, Summer Bib is the other one so I got two things out there because uh, the lettuce likes cool weather so out there is that and let me just show you the names of the company so you in case you get this so Everwild Farms Everwild Farms and they're non GMO and organic and they tell you everything to do on the back of them, unlike this guy that doesn't really tell you much at all to do. Um, so that's Everwild Farms is what you're going to see most of. And then this is uh, Ferry, Mo Ferry Morris. I bought just to try it. Mostly Ferry Morris I get a couple flowers from. But mostly everything here is going to be Everwild Farms, flowers, and um, food. Now, uh, that being said, Walmart Online, I got everything here. This was in my store. Um, and I got these on Walmart online. I live in a small mountain town an hour south of Oregon So it's easier for me to do stuff like that when you when I show you the racks they're on Walmart um, online.com and the, the grow lights as well, so let me go and show you this before I reach over there So I did these radishes never had radishes. They only take like 30 days 25 to 30 days, so I said all right cool so this is radishes that's radishes and that's radishes. Now again, the box where they came on the display said non-GMO, but I'm not sure, so I'm hoping. And I love radishes, so that's really cool. And I tried sprouting some t uh, potatoes, as you see down there. And I got some better ones in here. They're uh, honey potatoes, honey gold little ones. And they are um, non-GMO and organic. And then over here... Eh, hold on one second. Dun -dun 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 Ever wild farms and a dill growing starting growing there all right these are just flowers I'll do that some other time whole bunch of flowers I started here's all my strawberries tons and tons of strawberries given babies as you can see all these like vines are babies 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 I have a total of like 26 and if this works out this will be 27 um, and I'll do the uh, the racks in the other room where there's more room and space for me to do it and give you an idea of the grow lights and everything like that so again what I have here I got radish I got dill I got strawberries I got cantaloupe cucumbers and out in there I got lettuce which I'm gonna go show you real briefly oh hold on one second so on the balcony here I got lettuces and what I have an issue with some of these lettuces and it looks like it's doing it again is they're growing upright instead of growing full like a lettuce and they'll keep growing upright sometimes they work sometimes they don't and here's a different kind of lettuce which looks a little bit better looks like it might be doing oops, not lettuce it looks like it might be spreading out its leaves already and being a lettuce so that's good now I tried different soils I tried keeping it inside I tried keeping it outside in the ground it always seems to do well but up here it doesn't seem to do that well um, at all um, in a pot uh, I did it twice and then the other two to three times were just not a success at all so like 
two times it was good, three times it wasn't. So I'm playing around with it. I keep it a little bit more wet. This time it's in the cool. So we'll see what happens. Um, now over here I got a dwarf blueberry and another dwarf blueberry and then wild mint. That's been three years. I got that from the wild and replanted it. And then dwarf raspberry. So these are about 10 months old, the dwarfers. And they flowered once inside, but they never buried or anything. So I'm leaving them out longer and longer, as long as it's not dropping to freezing. So, because they need something called the chill hour to help produce the flowers and the fruit. So that's what I'm doing here. All right, here. So I harvested most everything a couple weeks ago and then I restarted. So these are tomatoes. Some of them are already come up. I mean, they came up in like, I think, um, I think I started the tomatoes less than a week ago and um, they come up really fast. So they're Roma Organic Non-GMO. Last year I had bought one from the store. I ate it, I planted the seeds and I grew them. Then I harvested them, ate them, and now that's what you're seeing the seeds again. Um, same thing over here, these are peppers. Well, these are red peppers. And for those of you who didn't know, like I didn't know, you can, uh, they're really green peppers, but you let them go and they'll turn red. They say they can turn orange and yellow too, so I'm not sure. Um, so these are the same thing, like organic, non-GMO, ate it, planted it in the ground, and then um, grew them again. This one is yellow mini peppers that I happened to buy from the store when I was out. And I can't remember if they were non-GMO or not. Um, so I took the seeds from them and I'm going to see if they do the same, if they'll grow. And, um, these are Brussels sprouts, which I've never grown before. And then they come in, I think it's going to be like a two, let's see. Yeah, two foot tall tree. And again, they're non-GMO and organic from that company, Everwild. And over here, I don't like eggplant, but I'll find a way either to my neighbors or I'll have it. Um, you know, maybe I'll like this kind, I don't know, it's... Not your typical eggplant. It's like these long purple silver ones. They look cool. They don't even look real. And again, it's this. And they um just about two and a half feet tall. Now this will go outside because it says that it likes a um really, really hot weather and lots of sun. So that will go outside. And the Brussels sprouts might too. And let's see here. Carrots, celery, and celery. Social garlic I bought as a plant. You can eat everything. It grows stems and flowers. You can eat it. Had it for about three years. This is the type of celery I use. All right. You can look at that online. And these are the carrots. I didn't have too much success with the carrots um, outdoors. I don't know why. I think there was too much water. Um, I live in a second floor apartment. They let me use the grounds below, but I can't control the sprinkler system. So, um, you know, it was what it was. But what I did get were like mini ones. I think these are supposed to be about seven inches or something like that. These carrots, they're more like about three and a half, four inches. But they tasted good and the greens were really good. Um, so now I'm trying them indoors. I had them going a couple weeks ago. And they literally came up in about four days. But aphids came out of the soil. So I redid the soil with some neem oil and everything. And we'll see what happens. As far as the celery grows, I had cut it, ate it twice. Then I had to cut it twice just because of the aphids. And then I sprayed and I sprayed and it was looking good. And then I had to do it again. So we'll see what happens this time. But it's excellent. Um, it tastes really wonderful. And it's great to grow all this stuff on your own. So while I'm here, $63 with tax. And you get, um, this is the white version. You can get chrome or stainless steel. Uh, I guess you call it stainless steel or chrome. And then black. I like the white. Um, with tax, it's $63 online. Um, there are five shelves adjustable. This one is only having three shelves, as, as you can see here. And um, so they're six feet high, three feet wide, 16 inches deep, and five adjustable shelves. The lights are two feet long, four inches wide, and about three inches high. I'll give you a look at them. They are blue and red spectrum, but they are look like white light. I got that because it brightens the room, and you don't need any other lights on instead of having this weird red or purpley glow, you got this. And they've been I've been having it since October and everything grew absolutely fine. Flowers, food, babies, in between, full, mature, everything. It, it grew actually fine. Those lights are um, GE grow lights and they were $40, then they dropped to 30, then they were around 
On other websites, they're about $50 to $55. So if you get them at $40 on Walmart Online, then you're doing real well. And this is a two-foot system on a three-foot shelf. It works excellent. Um, nighttime, daytime, just it covers perfectly, as you can see. So it's like strawberry land now because I started with about somewhere between four and six in October when I brought a couple from outside. I think I brought two or three from outside and I might have had like two inside. And then they just keep babying and babying and babying, as you can see. They're just babying and babying. Uh, this is the only one that didn't didn't do well. It looked like it wasn't going to do it. Then I gave it some more water and then it died again. So I'm not sure what happened with this guy, but most of them are, all, are real easy and just throw them in another pot you wait until they root and then you cut them um so yeah it's like strawberry land now the leaves don't look so great here because the white flies were on them and i was not wanting anything to be lost anymore by these dang white flies so i amped up the uh, neem oil a little bit and i guess a little bit too much and it burnt the leaves but good thing for strawberries they're very durable and they put out leaves after leaves after leaves pretty much all the time there's just some poppy california poppy and then some more strawberries up here. You might not be able to see because of the lighting. Let me see some. And some more strawberries. Let me see. There was oh, out there they were strawberry. But if you're not familiar, so there's some strawberries. They flower and then they bury. They flower and then they bury over here as well. Like I said, I think I have like 27 of them now. I just cut cilantro to use in my meal. So there's some cilantro and basil. Um, here you go here. Again, the same company. This is what it's called leisure coriander cilantro i read i let it grow out one time too just to get the flowers to the little balls you know and the balls are actual seeds and you can either replant them or you can ground them up and use them as you know uh, coriander so whatever you want to do there and i switched a lot of plastic over to clay pots and i small i, I um, made them a little bit smaller as well and these basils are excellent uh, i had to cut a ton of it two weeks ago and use it because the white flies went to there. Once I started wiping the other stuff out, like cucumbers and tomatoes, they all went to the um, basil, um, which they didn't really bother. But this basil grows like two to a half feet and bushy. And when you cut it, it will grow another one. Cut it, it will grow more. And it just, it stays for a long time. I had it from October until literally about a week or two ago, and it was just awesome. I had so much, I had to keep giving it to my neighbors. And then over here, is some parsley and as you can see it's just starting to grow there um so that's how this rack system works and like you see here and in the other room i get natural sunlight actually in all three rooms i get natural sunlight growing going through here um you can see the sun blaring at us right now not ready to set so um natural sunlight open windows and then the other lights now they say that you should put these lights on for like 16 18 hours I never even did close to that. I do six to about nine hours and everything grows perfect. Like like I told you, whether it's the strawberries and the babies, flowers, um, this is um, not sage, what's that's called, lavender. So whatever it is grows really, really nice. So that's about it. And um, once I get the garden going downstairs, um, I'll do a video of that and show you all the different flowers and food that I'm gonna do down there. And then I guess in about a month or so when this stuff starts going, I think there is a good berry on there, but I can't, let me see. Um, then I'll update this. So here's like a, another nice strawberry there. They usually grow like two to three per, per one and then about two to three of them just never seem to make it. So you get about two to three healthy ones on each one. They're called ever bearing. Um, there's, they produce every two seasons and um but for me they seem to be just reproducing like they're supposed to do summer and fall so like if i cut these and eat them like well less than a month they'll be producing again so it's really strange they call them ever bearing two season fruits but i don't know and um, they're supposed to last two years these plants so we'll see but it's really cool anyway so that's that i'm interested in the radishes and i'll update you on the rest of it in the indoor in a month and see how all the stuff goes and um, then the outdoor stuff, I got to get going. All right. Lots of love to you all. Bye-bye.